All right, welcome to a very, very icy morning in Marston today. But today is a very exciting day. The first time that we're having any of our logos or anything that I've paid for put on the new shop. So um, they're installing the coming soon signs and they're also about to take down that pylon bit, which is very exciting. Let's go. I finally have the keys to the new shop and the new sign is up on the pylon as well and it looks absolutely amazing. So yeah, they put that sign up probably about a week ago and then uh, we finally got access uh, pretty much the end of last week which is pretty cool so we're going to start doing all the fit out and everything. They're still not finished doing the air conditioning which is pretty crazy but I'm just here real early today because half of the um, joinery is being delivered this morning so we got like the service desk the sales desk, a few of the plinths and stuff that the bike's gonna sit on, so go come down, open the door for the boys, and then see what all that stuff looks like. Go, Kevin. <laughs> Bit of an update on, this is obviously my second wind space, so I've got two of them, I've got my race bike and then um, my old one. About two months ago I put on this um, L2 Chinese group set, I think it's like an $800 full round, $600 full round group set. Um, we pretty much got everything wired up and the reason I haven't been able to ride it or make a video on it yet is because I'm just waiting on a few parts. I've somehow lost the bearings for this and all my like small pieces to the bike I've somehow misplaced. So we've got all of those hopefully coming um, in the near future. But I want to go back to the roots of this channel and as you can see in the background, one of the videos that kind of like popped off on this channel was when I started doing custom paint jobs like this GT40 or the Golf paint job on the Scott Foil. So I thought while we're waiting to finish building this bike, um, why don't we custom paint it? I've got a new team bike coming soon and then the other one's getting given to one of the development boys. But this one is um, free use, free range for me to use. So I was thinking we could do a sick custom paint job on it and we can have it at the new shop on display. So I have a few ideas. I would, obviously a lot of people have told me that I just need to do the Lightning McQueen one. Um, the red with the 95 and all the cool Lightning McQueen stuff on there. I'm not entirely sure, I think it would be really cool, but if you have any better ideas, please let me know in the comments down below, because I want this to be an absolutely sick one. But yeah, I'm excited to do another custom paint job, I haven't done one in a while, we've obviously done the GT40 was the first one, and then we did my fighter jet TT bike, and then we did the um, F1 Melbro one on my Cannondale Super 6. So yeah, this will be number four, and I want it to be really, really good. So yeah, get really creative in the comments down below. Obviously, the intricacies of these paint jobs, they just look so, so sick in person. We can also do a custom bar and stem, because this one also has a one piece. So think about the paint job, and I want this to be the first one when we do the whole frame. We're also gonna do all of the seat posts and all of the bars, so the entire thing is gonna be custom painted. And potentially, we could custom paint, depending on what the paint job is gonna be, we could custom paint a set of carbon wheels on this bike as well, and that would be absolutely insane. Whew, all right, training time. I haven't actually brought you guys along for a bit of a training session in a while, so I've got two hours today, and every 30 minutes I have a 10 second max sprint effort, so I'm hoping to Hit close to 1400 watts for all of them today, so that's four 1400 watts, so that's gonna be um, pretty hard to achieve, but I'm gonna give it a good crack. And then when I get back, I really, really need to give the bike a clean because it is absolutely filthy from winter training and I gotta put it in a bike bag and I'm off to Oz tomorrow.
few ups and downs on that right. Oh, I don't know how well the footage showed it, but on that third sprint on the way back, a ute, like a farm ute, just pulled out exactly where I, there was a car behind me filming with uh, my sister in it, and they still just pulled out and almost hit me straight away. But I just like was in the moment, and I like, did the first 10 seconds, and you're kind of like, looking down when you're doing the max effort. And I looked up and I was like, oh, well, I better keep going because hopefully I can just beat him to the point where I'll be ahead of him when he swerves into me. But luckily he slowed down, but he almost took me and my car out. So yeah, interesting ride. But on a more positive note, I think I just hit my best ever max power of 1,501 watts. So very happy with that.